welcome to the Sew Essential vlog. I'm here today to bring you a fabric haul as promised. So I did one a few weeks ago um, which we got a great response from and I promised to go through some of the other fabrics with you because we've added a huge new range to the website recently. Um, we have sourced some additional ones as well which will be added soon so it's fabrics a go-go here at Sew Essential at the moment but uh, they've been really really popular I think we've got a really fantastic range at the moment so I'm very excited to share them with you so today I wanted to share our delightful John Caldor summer range um, there's just some absolute beauties in here and um, one of the things I should point out I feel with John Caldor fabrics is the quality is absolutely exceptional um, it, you really can't go wrong 100% confidence in the quality of these fabrics they're always beautiful every single time um, and I do speak from experience and I know Angela's made a huge amount of clothing John Caldor fabrics as well um, so just to share that with you really if you haven't worked with them before I definitely recommend giving them a try because you won't be disappointed so um, people fed back last time that they liked it that I made suggestions of patterns to pair with the fabric so I've done that again today obviously it's hard to cater for everybody's taste so if there's um, not something that appeals to you pattern wise but you like the fabric um, get on the website have a look all of the links to the website um, and the blog will be below um, so and we've also got some very useful filters on the website as well so if you've got a particular style of dress in mind that you'd like to make um, you can select and narrow down the pattern search in the dress category um, with filters so we've got an option for maxi dresses and sun dresses and shift dresses so that helps you to really narrow things down and find the right pattern for you but without further ado I'll crack on so the first fabric I'm going to talk to you about is one of the Hermione range so we've got this in two colorways we've got this gorgeous blue and white and it's like a watercolour effect almost quite abstract um, and we've also got it in a green um, a green and blue colourway as well which is also really really pretty both on the website um, it's a hundred percent polyester so it's very sort of lightweight it's got a really good drape on it as you'll see um, and yeah I've worked with Hermione fabrics before I made a jumpsuit with um, one of the designs from last summer's um, collection and I made Simplicity 1114 um, so that's a jumpsuit with um, thin straps Rolu straps or spaghetti straps whatever you like to call them um, and a little um, cut out here um, it had an elasticated waist um, and it was just really really easy to make really easy to fit and I got loads of lovely compliments about that jumpsuit last summer so I think that actually um, if I was going to use that fabric I think I would make a Hermione jump uh, sorry a Simplicity 114 jumpsuit with that um, if you're not into jumpsuits if they're not your bag a blouse or a dress would look um, beautiful in that as well just stunning colours really vibrant and perfect for summer so that's the Hermione range that we've got in the next one up is one of my absolute favourites I really really love this fabric it's called Santa Cruz um, it is a satin, a stretch satin fabric, so it's got a lovely sheen to it. I hope you can pick that up on the camera. Um, it just feels like a really luxurious fabric. Um, the, the design on it is absolutely beautiful, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just so, so pretty, so feminine. Um, there's lots and lots of drape as you would expect from a fabric like this so um, really great for making floaty summer dresses or tops um, the pattern I picked out that I thought would look really good in this is Birda 6503 um, and there's a loose fitting top option or um, a loose fitting dress option with that pattern um, it's cut on the bias so ideal for this sort of fabric and we've also got this Santa Cruz fabric in a pinky peachy colourway as well so um, if you're into your pinks and your peaches have a look on the website because that one's on there as well um, next up another fabric that is absolutely ideal for summer so for anyone who's into linens um, and natural fibres 
This is a linen mis a viscose mix. It's called Salso, um, and we we've always had this in in the summer, and it's always been really really popular. And um, we've had different colorways and designs before, but I really love this design that we've got in this year. Uh, I think it's got a really tropical feel to it. I think it'd be absolutely perfect for holidays. Um, as you'd expect, it's nice and lightweight and breathable because it's a linen viscose mix, so it is really perfect for keeping you nice and cool in the summer. Um, it's not it's not a stiff fabric, it's still got a good drape, um, although it would hold some structure, so I think you could make um, a nice sleeveless shift dress, uh, sleeveless shirt dress, sorry, in this, I think would look really good. Um, and we've also got um, a monochrome design as well, which is also on the website. So that's got a black background and then it's got a little cream, um, almost like a mushroom design on it, for want of a better description. Um, just like little white dots, really, with a little stem at the bottom. Um, really, really lovely and pretty. Um, but the pattern I picked out for this fabric that I thought would look great is one that I've always wanted to make and I haven't got around to yet and that is New Look 6263. Um, so it's a lovely sundress. Um, it's sort of quite A-line um, and, and sort of fairly loose fitting. Um, so quite forgiving if you've had a big meal on holiday or something. Um, it's got a nice um, neckline and a little cutout here. Um, and I think that would look really lovely. But as I said, I think shirt dresses as well would work really well. And skirts as well would work really well in those fabrics. So they're always a very popular one. And then a next up is another one that I absolutely adore. And this is uh, one of our Peas Blossom fabrics. Um, just look at that. I mean, do, I don't really need to say anything, do I? I just think it's so, so pretty. And again, um, scream summer at me. Um, I think I can see this one made up into a kimono. And I think I put that in one of the newsletters recently. Um, there's a quick sew 4208 pattern. Um, which I think it, this would look absolutely brilliant. Just made up in a quick, simple kimono. Great little cover-up for spring, summer time when the weather's changing constantly and you're not really sure what to wear or how the day's going to pan out. Um, I think that would look great with um, a nice plain top and a pair of plain jeans or plain trousers. Um, just a really nice chic cover-up. And again, if you're not keen on the kimono pattern I've picked out, you can search in our jackets and coats section on the website um, for kimono patterns and there's about 15 on there I think so there's quite a lot of choice there um, but if you didn't want to make a kimono equally a dress or a blouse would look absolutely lovely in that um, so yeah really love that fabric I think it's gorgeous um, that's 100% polyester as well and then we also have um, this is the same type of fabric it's peas blossom again we've got this lovely design here which I think um, just would appeal to so many people I think um you know it's it's quite sort of neutral in a way because the background is cream but then you've got these lovely splashes of um this sort of dark green um well sort of a dark lime green I would I would describe it as um and then these sort of grayish almost purplish colors as well um and again this would look beautiful made up as a dress or a top um, I think like a nice loose fitting shift dress I think would look lovely in that and then we've also got another peas blossom on the website um, which we had a cream and navy version of and it's like an abstract sort of uh, squares on it um, with almost brush strokes um, and we had it in navy and cream and it sold out and I don't think we could get any more so we got a purple and lilac colourway as well um, and that was really really popular it's a really nice fabric so get on and have a look at that as well. Um, next up are our Ohio fabrics so we've got this one which I just think is so lovely um, you know yellow is such a lovely summery colour I've seen a lot of it in the shops this season as well so um, it's obviously very popular and very on trend I think just generally bright colours are we've uh, thank goodness stepped away from um, we had quite a few years where there wasn't much colour I don't think in the shops and on the catwalks but it's back with a vengeance so um, that's great and the Ohio fabrics are um, a cotton with a slight stretch and um, a satin finish to them so there's 3% elastane in this 
Um, so it's a little bit of stretch, not loads, but a little bit. Um, and yeah, it's got that lovely satin finish. Um, I made recently a pencil skirt. I made um, Simplicity 2154 in um, an Ohio fabric that we've got in pink, a sort of fuchsia pink and black colorway. Um, the I've also made a pencil skirt recently that I think would work really well in this fabric, which is um, McCall's 3830, um, and that comes in five different lengths. So um, wherever you sort of want to finish your skirt, you can change it up and, and make it to suit you. And I found that that pattern just fitted straight out of the packet. It was great. I had to make um, I made some slight alterations at the hips, which is always a must for me because um, I've got quite sort of narrow hips in um, proportion to my waist but um, that was a really good pattern it's finished just with facings rather than a waistband but you can always add a waistband if you wanted to um, and then if pencil skirts aren't your thing um, I do think the Ohio fabrics I've seen Angela make some really lovely circle skirts with these before um, and I thought Simplicity 1200 would be quite a good option um, to make up in the Ohio fabrics so we've got the um, yellow and black colourway there and then we've also got, this one hasn't gone on the website yet but it will be going on soon, so this is an, another Ohio the same um, and this is in navy blue and lime green, I think that is just absolutely gorgeous so uh, watch this space for that one will be going on soon and then we've also got this one um, where the navy blue is black and the uh, green is um, fuchsia pink, so it's a similar colourway to the one um, I made my pencil skirt in, which you can find on the blog, again all of the links to the blog and the website are below, um, but yeah, they, these are fantastic fabrics, they really are, they never, never fail to disappoint. Um, so that's the Ohio range for this year. And then we've also got the Lozano fabrics, which again are 100% um, cotton. These have got a satin finish as well, like the Ohio's, but these are a lot more lightweight and drapey than the Ohio's. The Ohio's are a bit more, um, they're, they're not as, they don't have as much drape and they are a bit more um, he, sort of a medium weight, I would say, whereas these are, are a lighter weight. Um, and if you just look at this, I mean, you know, it's just an absolutely amazing design, I think really, really unusual. Um, this is the red colourway and then there's also, um, I think it's a blue and green colourway on the website as well, which is multicoloured like this again. Um, but I, they almost remind me of the African wax print fabrics, which are very, very popular at the moment. And I just think again, ideal for summer, lots and lots of different colours, um, lovely, lightweight, drapey, um, and I can just imagine this made up in um, a lovely maxi dress. Um, so I picked out New Look 6491 um, and I think this would just look great. It's um, 6491, it's got like um, almost like an empire, I suppose it's almost like an empire line dress. So it falls away from under the bust, um, which again means, you know, nice, nice and loose around your tummy. If you've been out for some nice meals on holiday and feel a bit bloated, you can hide it all away. Um, but yeah, I think they would look great as a maxi, particularly to really show off the um, big print. But the other thing I thought I might like to make as well with those is um, a play suit. So um, for me, they're great for on holiday day and there's a number of really good play suit patterns on the website as well so worth having a look at those and considering those as well um, and then finally I'm on to the Juliet fabric that we've got which is another polyester fabric and I just think this print's absolutely beautiful it's so lovely um, it's a nice lightweight drapey fabric again um, and again, I think with the large print, I would be tempted to go for a maxi in this. I picked out Butterick 6452, um, and you can make that in a knee length version or a maxi version. I think this would look really pretty made up in that. Um, but again, really, the world's your oyster with this. So many different dress options, I think, would look really, really good in this fabric. So that is the John Caldor fabric haul. I hope you've all enjoyed that. As I said, I'll pop the links to the website and to the blog post below, um, and there'll be links to each of the individual fabrics in the um, blog post as well. 
so you can get those there and if you like what you've seen today please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.